Yeah, good morning all. Welcome to Ostrotech. We'll get started shortly. Morning, Noble. We'll get started shortly. Let's just um, allow people to join. Please extend mm -hmm. invites to your friends, loved ones, your network. We'll get started shortly. Morning, Eddie. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Good morning. We'll get started shortly. Just settle in, grab yourself a cup of coffee. Um, it promises to be an exciting time, informative, and we'll look not to bore you. Thank you. Thank you for joining the event today. We'll kick it off shortly. Good morning, a bad day. Um, extend to your network, extend to anyone you know would benefit from knowing these opportunities as you have for uh, commencing your career and um, particularly in the areas of project management, data analysis and certifications as relate to Prince2, et cetera. Just please extend to them. We'll get started shortly. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Um, just give it a couple of minutes and we'll look to kick this off. Um, and our host will take this over. Um, thanks for joining. Extend to friends, loved ones, anyone you know would benefit. Um, there's been quite some interest around this, so we expect a lot more people to join. Uh, so settle yourself in. I've got my cup of coffee. You'll get one too. Um, 
and uh, it promises to be interesting. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, apologies, we're running a bit behind schedule. Um, thanks again for those of us who are on the call for joining us. Um, if we could please just get ourselves settled in, we'll be starting shortly. If you need to make a brew, please make a brew for yourself. Um, we'll be starting shortly. While we wait, um, everyone on the call, can you just let us know where you're joining from? Uh, your name and where you're joining from, if you don't mind, please. Just put it in the chats, in the chat box.
Uh, I can see we have people from Edinburgh in the UK. We have Emmanuel from Lagos, Jane from Lagos. Thanks for joining us, Michael. Thanks for joining us, Mildred. Beikumi from Lagos as well. Leon from the UK. Thanks for joining us. We will be starting shortly. We will be starting shortly. While we wait, if you want to make yourselves comfortable, get yourself a brew while we just settle in and we'll get started shortly. Noble, I see you. Thanks for joining us, Noble. We'll be starting shortly, um, but while we wait, just get yourself comfortable. Um, my name is Boboya, and I have a, another host who will be joining me in the next minute or so. So um, we'll do proper introductions just before we kick off. Thanks for joining us, Ify. Um, Lucky, thanks for joining us. Okay, let's get started. Buki, are you on the call? If you could please just unmute yourself and um, introduce yourself. Can you hear me, Buki? Yes, if you could please oh, um, turn on your videos so they yep. see who who is speaking with them. All right, good, 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 good. All right, once again, Thank you everyone for joining us. We're starting off officially now. Uh, um, my name is Boboye and um, I'll be hosting this event today um, in collaboration with my colleague, Bukit. Do you want to introduce yourself, please? Yeah, thank you. Thank you everyone for joining. Good morning. My name is Bukit and I'll be your co-host with Boboye today to introduce this um, wonderful session to you. It promised to be very interesting. Thank you for joining. So we'll kick started. So um, I know a lot of us have joined today with a lot of expectation. And um, just to assure you that your expectations will be met. Um, so this is just for us to introduce to those of us who are new to project management, what project management is and what the opportunities within the field is, and as well as uh, data analysis. So keep an open mind, uh, ask questions. We have a Q&A session at some point. Um, make sure you ask as much questions as you want. And you can also reach us after the event to, to ask your questions as well. Um, we will be kicking off now. Um, I'm just going to introduce Ade. Ade is the lead consultant for Ostratech. He will take us through the first session. Um, Ade, if you're with us, please can you unmute yourself and take it away. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Thanks for joining. My name is Ade. Um, wherever you're joining us from, uh, please just get yourself settled in, grab yourself a brew, uh, make sure you are well positioned to receive all of the information that we've got to share with you. Um, I promise we will not bore you. Uh, we we look to make it uh, exciting, uh, keep it informed, as informed as possible to sort of help you really benefit from this process. Um, let us know where you're joining from. Um, as you sort of come on, on the session, let us know where you're joining from. It would be good to know where the participants today have joined from. Um, very important to know that. Um, also... How you heard about us would be good to know that as well. Um, may I also request that you extend this to your friends, your loved ones, anyone you know you would benefit from this process. 
Uh, please extend to them. I will kick it off shortly. Oh, India, UK, London. Uh, thank you, Nigeria, Nottingham. Debo from the UK, good to see you. Ethan from uh, Middlesex, thank you. Um, thank you all for joining, and we just sort of take it away. Um, today, um, as part of this session, I have some good friends of mine also part of this process today. Um, we will be uh, speaking alongside myself, and then Buki and uh, Boboye that you've also met are uh, our host within who have come through Ostratech and will be sort of guiding us through today's session as well to sort of anchor and make sure we all sort of um, get the most from this session today. Um, extend to your friends and loved ones as we, as we go. Um, so I'm Adi. Um, I'm the lead trainer for Ostratech. Um, I'm an IT program. Uh, I'm project consultant based in I'm based in Manchester, and in terms of um, years of experience, uh, it's almost two decades of experience in this space, uh, supporting people, training, um, and helping many uh, transit from where they are to uh, project management aspects, starting careers there. Um, a lot of the people uh, you hear, for example, the hosts, have also come through this process. Um, and that's really a remarkable story to sort of have. Um, Nobu, uh, you will get to meet very shortly. Uh, Nobu Tamburaj is a, a Princeton trainer um, and has had over 90% uh, success rate in Princeton courses. Um, he's been a trainer since 2016 and conducted over 110 courses and has been with Ostratech since 2021. He's based in India. And my other friend Kay um, Adetola is a trainer, data analysis, is seasoned data analyst and BI developer, specializing in Power BI, SQL Server technologies, etc. Also based in Manchester, UK. Uh, this session today promises to be um, informative, provides you providing you guidance and all of those good stuff that will sort of help you benefit in the process to sort of um, achieve your career objectives and the reason for which you've joined today. Extend this to your friends, your loved ones, your network. Yeah, this will, this promises to sort of uh, be informative. So let's take it away. I, I'm sure a lot of us have heard about projects before. So this is the way I'm going to sort of play this out. If you've heard about projects, let me know what you know about it. If you wouldn't mind dropping me something in the chat, uh, just so that I, I, I familiarize with your knowledge, and really understand any aspects of projects that you know. What If I asked you now to say, define the word project to me, what will you do? The interesting thing is we all do this every day. We embark on projects regularly without really realizing that's what we're doing. Just drop something in the chat for me. I'm looking out. I'm looking out for our responses. If you had to define it, what would you say? What is a project? Anyone trying? I just need the first person to respond. Any aspects of it, of the definitions of it? In the meanwhile, can we just line up all the uh, success stories? Let's make sure they're here. Um, Boboye, please, can you reach out to them? Uh, someone said the task. Okay, I'll take that. It's a task. Someone said the project is a task. It's just... That's a subset of this definition. It's a minute aspect of it. That's not the whole gist. Okay, but that's a good attempt. A project is any venture that has a start date and an end date. That's what Benjamin is saying. L Lucky Benjamin is saying. We clear deliverables and budget. Very good attempt. Thank you. Okay, I won't want to bore you all with, um, I won't want to keep you all trying to uh, get answers out, but I think that was a good attempt by those who have sort of, uh, attempted to sort of define it. But today we're going to be looking at project management as a career area of interest for a lot of you that have joined today. Um, and um, I will sort of break it down for you the best I can um, to sort of help you appreciate what we're talking about. So when we look at the concept of project, we all embark on projects every day. I mean, I mean, the, if you wanted to embark on this training to sort of change your career, that's for yourself a project. 
You know, it has a partic particular uh, target you want that is just driven by a need. Um, you've got your objective clearly defined around that career change and transition. And that need is the driving factor prompting you to want to embark on the project to sort of change your career. There may be other things around it that we could call your own business case that is sort of driving why you need to uh, embark on the journey. But the key thing is that you need to sort of, as part of that unique arrangement, embark, embark on the journey to sort of change your career, but you will need to do quite a number, there'll be quite a number of steps, starting from trying to find, understand what career area you want to even get into first. So let's say we've said project management, you want to understand how to achieve uh, that transition, and you may want to develop a plan, something of a plan that sort of helps you understand over time how you embark on that journey. So that when we look at the definition of project, um, there will be a certification oriented definition, there will be book oriented definitions from different sources, but you will find that in the end, everyone is saying the same thing. So that basically, when we look at a project, we're saying a project is a temporary organization. It's usually time bound. It has a defined start, like Lucky Benjamin was saying, and it has a defined finish. It doesn't run infinitely. So you have, if you are trying to embark on a career change journey, you would think to yourself, I want to do this over six months. That's your time component you're defining. You want to achieve this over 12 months and you think about the sequence of steps and activities that will sort of lead you into that achievement, the achievement of your objective. So we're saying it is time bound. It has a defined start, a defined finish. We're saying it, it will deliver one or more uh, business products or services. And it, this could be tangible or intangible. It could be anything from what I've just said, your career change transition. But when we look at it from the standpoint of an organization beyond an individual, it could be anything from the prototype of a car for a manufacturing company, a car manufacturing company. It could be anything from a new house or a new development uh, for a construction based, a housing development organization. It could be um, an upgrade to an existing technology, it could be, which will be carried out by an organization. And it could be the introdu introduction of a totally new technology. What we are saying is there will always be that temporary arrangement uh, to sort of just instruct when you want to achieve this thing, there will also be a definition of the product or the service that you want to sort of uh, deliver. And the key thing is all of this will be driven by a justification or a rationale. If it was from an individual standpoint, career change and transition, you want to increase your earning potential, you want to increase, improve your status, you want to sort of ensure um, you do less and gain more, put in less effort and gain more. Um, all of the mundane jobs that people do can be quite draining, but something a bit more professional that's quite futuristic that gives you some prospects and a viewpoint that suggests you are embarking in a journey that means you can be growing over time is also quite good. And um, which means that regardless of your starting point, you can rise up through time to higher levels. And that is what we are sort of trying to say from that individual st standpoint. But I'm trying to bring it uh, close to us so that we can appreciate exactly what we are saying. If you have any questions, please drop it in chat. We endeavor to uh, to respond. And then one of the things I would just still want to say at this point is, please extend to your network. Um, it would be good that people benefit from such a session as this so that they can start to make decisions in this year um, to sort of just better their own situations, their careers. And you soon hear from a lot of my friends here today who have benefited from this pro uh, process and are now successes. So having discussed project, the, the def having established the definition for project, what we want to now really quickly do is try to establish uh, what project management is, because this is really also quite important. So what then is project management? So it is the planning delegating, monitoring and control of all aspects of the project. So just like we just sort of looked at the uh, career change and transition objectives, we said we need to plan for it. And then as part of the process, the delegation comes in, for example, where you know some people will be responsible for helping you achieve that objective. You want to hold them responsible and engage them for their service. 
Okay, and that's where the delegation comes in. So from the standpoint of an organization that embarks on project based on some of the examples that we've looked on, looked at, there'll be a lot of planning to change the technology, a lot of planning to improve or develop a new housing development. There'll be a lot of planning to sort of ensure there is a path from start to finish for achieving objectives. So we'll also delegate and the delegation comes through with different skill sets, role types, doing different stuff as part of the process to deliver a new service solution, et cetera, et cetera. So you will monitor and control to ensure things go to plan. You monitor and control that you are delivering your budget, you're utilizing your budget to track, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. And then one of the essential aspects of this definition is just the motivation of all those involved. All those people will bring their skills, their expertise to support the achievement of the objectives that you've got for your project. So there will be a range of personal performance objectives to include anything from say time, you've got cost, you've got uh, scope. Um, all of those will be performance objectives that we want to achieve. And it's um, we want to also ensure we deliver uh, to benefits because your benefits would have been defined um, from the get-go and then you want to ensure you deliver to high quality levels as well as minimum risk very very important so when you look at this is planning delegating monitoring control motivation of all those involved to achieve performance targets that we have for a particular product or service as we want to deliver within that temporary arrangement okay so really, really important to sort of get this before we start to talk about a potential transition and career change. So I think the next big thing is why pursue a career in project management? Why? So let's sort of look at this uh, to sort of really help everyone on the call understand why we must pursue a career in project management. So basically, you want to le leverage um, as part of project management, what you find is that you leverage existing skill set that you, you've got. Project management is one of those aspects where you will leverage existing skill sets, you will le leverage reusable soft, soft and technical skills. Project management is not such that it's, it's all about technical. There's aspects of it that soft skills, soft skills of communication, soft skills of and negotiations, soft skills of teamwork and collaboration, soft skills of active listening, soft skills of emotional intelligence, all of those things are really there. Attitudinal skills, I, I always like to use the analogy. There is no point if someone is technically sound, but from an attitude standpoint, their attitude stinks. So what you want to sort of do is ensure that all of those skill set that you've got, you, br you bring to play and project management leverages it. What I'm saying to you is you already have skill set that is beneficial for the transition. I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, please drop it on the on the chat and we'll look to attend to, to it. And I'll just sort of move quickly. So it, it's, it's a career with prospects. There's an opportunity, there's a lot of opportunity for you to sort of rise over time. It gives there's a future to it. You start from a junior level role, you can easily rise over time to higher senior level roles. So there's that opportunity to intentionally add value to yourself. And that's what you're doing with this, this thing. When you sort of say you want to transit from where you are to higher levels, and you must want it. There's got to be that desire to intentionally change and achieve objectives, as you said for yourself. Give your career a boost and enhance your skill set. Okay? And is that any potential benefit as well, where you want to increase your earnings, improve it? Um, you may be in this mundane role and aspects, but with project management, what you find is that you can increase largely your earning potential. Great, significantly. It won't matter where you start from, but over time, what you find is that your earning potential increases. There are a lot of factors that will determine what you earn, including your uh, experience level, your uh, seniority level for what you're looking for, the location where you are based, whether it's urban or rural. And one of the things to sort of call out, as with a lot of tech aspects, see, project management is industry agnostic. In other words, it's at, it cuts across all sectors. So it's not like it is uh, bound to a specific sector. It cuts across 
all sectors. And that's one of the things that really makes it exciting, interesting uh, as a career area to pursue. But the final thing to say is that your project management skills are needed. So there will not ever be a shortage of requirements and demand for project managers. There's always a demand for project managers because organizations are consistently embarking on projects. Okay, so that really makes it important for you to sort of start to take this really uh, seriously as an opportunity area that can give your career uh, that needed boost and help you establish a firm an important career area. So over to you, um, guys, If uh, Buki, Boboye, if you guys have any questions, uh, please just drop it in chat and we'll look to attend to it. Thank you very That's much, Adi. Now. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you very much, Adi. Um, if you're just joining us, thank you for joining. Welcome to this wonderful event. We hope you'll be able to uh, stick with us to the end. We have a fantastic um, information to pass across to every one of you on the call. So thank you for joining, you're in the right place. And so we'll be getting onto the next part of the event now. Um, Shagun, if you're on, is just a call on one of our testimonials to give a feel of how the um, training session he's taken with Austriatech went and how he was able to uh, get to where he is now. Shagun, if you're on the call, can you come on the call, please? If you want to unmute yourself. While we wait for Shego, anyone that's just joining, thank you. Just drop your questions in the chat box. Any questions, we'll look to attend to this in the end. So if you can drop your questions in the chat box, we'll just um, attend to you um, and take it from there. Okay, if um, Shego, I think maybe he is probably having um, connection issues and probably not able to join us. Um, yeah, um, Bukia, yeah, I'm I think, yeah. not sure he's online yet. Um, we can just go to the go next. To yeah. Just to, is is That's Fumi it. on? Yes, I am. Oh, okay. All right. That's fine. Um, Fumi, please, if you don't mind, can you... Um, let's see your face, please, if you don't mind. Yep. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good, good morning, morning for me. Okay. So, Fumi, thanks for joining us. Um, this is just going to be a quick one. So, can you just introduce yourself to us? Tell us where you are. Right. Um. Um. Like you. Um. My name is Fumi, and um, I live in Nottingham. Um. I would start by saying my background is not in high tea. Um, so work-wise, um, for the past 17 years, I've worked with Royal Mail, with the post office. And um, it was a kind of, um, what would I say, a job I had to do for the family because it was kind of flexible. But it was a hard work, mundane work, because it was standing and everything every day. So I got tired of it. Uh, it was having issues on my head because I was having to stand every day, 12-hour shift, 10-hour shift and everything. And then if, and that's a little bit of background about myself. So my background is not in high T, it's in law, actually. Yep. Okay. Thanks for me. And um, how did you get to hear about Ostrate? Right. Um, so a friend of mine told me, um, referred me to um, um, Adi, which is the lead consultant for Ostrate. So this friend of mine was like, oh, you should try project management is something you could do. At um, From a background of law, or not having any IT background, I was like skeptical in doing it. But I had a chat, um, I called Adi, I had a chat with him and he said, everybody can do. Just like he said in one of um, in his introductory class that is what we all do every day. So that's how I got to know about Ostrotech. And um, I just, it was quite good that it was, it was a very good um, experience for me that I joined. So that's how I learned about Autotech. Okay. So, um, and how did you find the training program? <laughs> um, very, very, very good. It was a, it's a life-changing decision for me and I cannot um, overhype it enough. Um, 
the class was um, very, very informative, very in interactive. Um, when I decided I was going to go into project management, I went on YouTube. As we all know, there are quite a lot of resources about everywhere. But trust me, there's a lot of difference when you go on training with Ostrotech. Um, um, because we had so many classes. Uh, we had classes. The classes were interactive. We had live projects. We had hands-on projects. It was the quite. It was. It was what kicked me off. It wasn't just what I've read about the internet because it was quite practical life. We had mentors who told us what to do, showed us what to do. We were all given tasks. So it wasn't just that they taught us, okay, this is what you need at work. We were all given tasks to have a hands-on experience of doing it as well. Um, so it was a very, very good experience for me. And it actually helped me in my um, for to, to kickstart the career in what I my role right now. Um, at the moment, um, I got a job with, uh, with the public service and um, it's a band five role. Um, for my interview, I was, try I was told to do a presentation. If I hadn't been actively part of um, what we learned, it's not, it's not theory like you read on the internet. So it was because I was part of the class. It was quite interactive, the project. I was able to talk on the project that we did at the training. And I was able to talk because they asked what were the uh, constraints, what were the issues you had to face, how did you prepare this, how did you do that? But because I'd done that with the Ostrotech, it really, really helped. It's something that you have an experience on. It's not just what you read. It really, really helped. And thank God I got the job. Okay, congrats. Thank you. And so now you're a project manager, I believe? Or what no. Do you do? Um, so I'm in like a project coordinator. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Um, and I would also say that uh, with Ostrotech, you have live videos that you can go back to. You have mentors. For my interview, my mentor, which uh, is Baboye yourself, um, and Hade, they will coach you. You have a CV review. You'll be able to own your own CV. Um, because when you go for some interview, I've gone to a previous interview, they will ask you about your interview. You're able to own your own CV. You'll be able to talk about what you've done. So with Ostrotech, Trust me, it's a it's a very good experience, and it will you have all the help you will need that will kick kick you off. And even after the interview, um, my mentor they called how how did the interview go? They boost you to say oh you'll get the job, and if you don't get it, which I am lucky I got it, so it's a very very good place to start, and it's what coming to join Ostrotech. And um, I think finally, I just wanted to find out. So you've started your role. Yes. Have you have you still received support from Ostratech, Ostratech after you started your role? Yes. Um. So I just started not long ago, and um, uh, less than two weeks. Um. So I called Hadi after the job, and I told him that okay, I'm starting the work on um, the work. Um, I'm starting my job. So I've received support from. I called him, and he said quite some of the videos, and you know some of those documents. So you know, like um, we did. I, we did like a PID document, like a project plan. The, all these things, because they were on the Google Drive, I was able to go back there, look into it. So I was. this was useful for me to understand the one we're using at work now. So it's really, okay. really good. I've got a lot of support and I keep getting the support. They can't get tired of me. You guys can't get tired of me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much, Fumi. Thank you for sharing your experience with us. Um, like Fumi, myself, I um, have been through this process before, so I can sort of relate with what she's saying, the level of support you get with Ostratech and um, the training. It, it's, it's a bit intense, but um, it's what you need to prepare you for the journey ahead. And um, you can't go wrong with Ostratech. That's, that's all I'll say. So I'll, I'll hand over to you, Buki. Thank you very much, Baboy. Thank you for me for sharing that uh, wonderful testimony with us. And if you're just joining us, thank you for joining. Uh, we still have a lot more in store for you. So I'll hand over to Adi now just to take the next session. Adi, over to you, please. It's um sorry, just before they comes, it's Kemi on. Kemi, please, are you on the call? Uh, 
I, I don't think we have Shagun. I'm not sure what's happened. Where is he? Um, he's not on the call. Okay. So let, let's go. Who's the next person has a success story? Kemi, Kemi, Kemi is on. So um, let Kemi do uh, it. Okay. Kemi, can you please unmute yourself and um, turn on your video? Okay, she needs help being unmuted. Okay. All right. Morning. Hi, Kemi. Morning, Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Uh, yes, apologies, please. Uh, I'm in transit somewhere, but... No, no worries at all. Thanks Thanks for doing this. So um, can you please just introduce yourself to us and um, tell us about yourself prior to joining Ostratech? Okay, so um, my name is Kemi Olaren Waju, and um, I live in um, Kent, United Kingdom. Um, I, uh, well, prior to joining Ostratech, um, I was everywhere, really. Um, so my background, um, educationally, um, in international relations, so, I did my master's in international relations, but since then, I was kind of just doing like, just things to just get money basically. So um, eventually I got into banking. Um, I worked for um, Real Bank of Scotland for a couple of months. Prior to that, I was also in the financial sector. Um, but then I, I got married after having kids, so I couldn't really balance work life. So. I left work for a while. And then when I was trying to get back in, um, somebody must have introduced me to um, project management where I was working. So then I did um, a Prince 2 course. I did um, the um, the foundation and the practical. And then, but I just couldn't really get a job with it. I didn't know what to do with the certificates I had. So then, um, again, I was just trying to just get like, just like retail, just just anything just to get money basically um for bills. So um I went back into financial sector again. I was looking for jobs in banks and stuff, but I wasn't really getting so I was getting frustrated. Then I went back to somewhere that I worked previously is the financial sector, but because I, I had experience working with them, so they took me back um in somewhere in Kent. So I'd moved from London back to Kent at that point. Um, and then lockdown happened. And because I just got the job, I think I got it three months just before lockdown. So they asked me to to leave. Um, so uh, I was back to square one. And um, someone introduced me to um, Ostratech. Um, she was taking a course as well at that time, a refresher. And she was just telling me, oh, why don't you try Ostratech, this and that, well. I don't do Prince 2 anyway. I have certificates. I don't know what to do with it. I was like, oh, yeah, just do pressure. That's what I'm doing as well. It's like a mentor. It will guide you and all of that. So I said, okay, why not? So then that's when she introduced me to Ade. And that's when my life just changed <laughs> for good. So um, when I met Ade, I met Ade. I think I did the course maybe July, July, either June or July. I can't remember now. And, you know, Ade is not the kind of person that, you know, he doesn't really want to hear your past sad stories. It's always so about now. What can you do now? You know, let's not focus on the past now. And so when I was just this so big, well, I mean, we need to do something. What do you want? So I told him, these are my goals. This is what I want to do. And he said, okay, so do, do this refresher because obviously you have Prince 2 certificates already. Um, and then we'll take it from there. And then I took the refresher course with Ade. The course was very, it was so, it, I don't know how to put it. Maybe sim simplified is the best word because when I did the Prince 2 course, I took it in a classroom setting. So I was proper going um, to a classroom for lectures, basically. And I remember when the lecturer was saying, oh, you will do the foundation in three days time. I go home and I told my husband, I failed already. I don't know I'm going to practice foundation because it was just too, it was too, I don't know, bogus, hardcore. 
you know. So when you know when Adios said he would take the course in three days, I said, okay, let's see what they're gonna do. And the way he just broke it down, it was so simple to understand. It was so straightforward. And then I like the fact that he puts us in groups as well, and um, he gave us um real life scenario exercises. So it's like you're doing proper projects, you know. And in the group, um, I had the honor to be the the group lead. So I took on uh, most of the um, tasks of like business cases and all of that. So it gave me more insight into what I was doing. I did the plan with this and all of that. And um, that the project scenario exercise really helps me because I think a month after, actually, after my um, course with Adi, um, I got, a jo- I got a, um, an interview, um, invite for an interview. And, you know, the project scenario exercise helps me because it helps. It was like a point of reference for me. So when they were asking questions, I was, it was easy for me to relate it to the project scenario exercise. Um, and that was the, I think that was, that was it for me, really. The project scenario exercise really helps me. And then um, also, as part of the interview I did for that organization, they asked me to do a presentation. So Adi, I think we spent about an hour and a half doing the presentation together and all of that. It really prepped me for the presentation. And um, it helped me with my CV as well. After the project scenario exercise, it helped me with my CV. So you do the CV and it will just help you put some bits and pieces and then guide you on what to put and how to put them all together. And uh, when I went for the interview, um, it wasn't it wasn't too intimidating for me because I had an idea even though I didn't have the experience I had an idea of what to expect in projects uh, because I'd done the project scenario exercise and I'd also taken the course with Adi and then I got offered the role so I worked in the organization for three three and a half years I worked as a program support officer and then um, I went on math leave again and I was trying to kind of progressed my career and then I went to Adi I said to Adi I said well I've spent about three years, years now in this place I want to kind of progress and it, it just wasn't coming it was encouraging me you know apply for this apply yourself you know I like the way you applied yourself before you got this role you know you got this role just within a month and a half of doing the um, course with me and you know I was frustrated at some point and I remember Adi was saying, are you going to cry? So, um, Kemi, sorry, sorry to cut you. Can you hear me? Is that you have to like I'm helping you, and you have to help yourself as well. And then, yes. Sorry to cut. I you. can hear you. So, um, okay. Um, I think we've spent a lot of time on this. Just to round up. Um, do you think the training contributed with your success in your career and um, would you recommend the training for anyone? Can you hear me? Yeah. No? Hello? Yes, now I work as a project manager. I've changed the one seat, so I'm sorry. The network my manager- Okay. Okay, okay go on. so it did contribute so, the the cause it contributed to my success career. Um, as I said, I work now as a project manager, and um, if I didn't um, you know, go with extra in the first place, and I did, if I didn't take the course, I wouldn't start my career in project management. I probably would not even you know make use of my Prince two certificate. Uh, I probably would not get my role as a, pro- a program support officer and now a project manager. Um, so my advice to you is, if you're confused about what to do uh where to do where to work I, I think this is the first step here joining this call is the first step try and take it a, a, a step at a time and project management is very wide it's very very wide there's so many places if you don't like it you can stay in the management role you can stay in pmo there's different places benefits risk management anything you feel that your strength lies in you can stay there and thrive in your role all right thank you very much for your time kemi Thank you. Um, Adi, over to you. 
Yeah, thanks, Boboye. Thanks, Kemi. Um, I'll move through this um, quickly. If you're just joining us, thank you for joining. This is Ostrotech. We're glad to have you on. Uh, please extend this to your network. Um, and um, I'll just look to move through this as quickly as possible. So I think when it comes to um, starting a career in project management, I want to uh, make this a chat more than anything. Um, like with everything, uh, a journey of a thousand miles starts with a step. It starts with something around your interest for that change. You need to desire that change. Um, and the proof of your desire is the work you're putting into it. You need to put some work into it. It's not just talk. You need to put work into it. And let that work you're putting into it now prompt you to start to really find sources that will sort of help you grow your career. For example, or achieve that career objective, For if project management is something that is of interest to you, which is what we're showcasing today. So Kemi, for example, just spoke now. I knew when she met us, but not just that. She had worked in project management as a PMO for a while, and then the transition to actual managing project from where she started also was something that was facilitated by this process. You heard from me as well. Shegun, for some reason, cannot join today. We don't. We we've not heard from him. Uh, but Shegun now is a project manager with the NHS, having just trained with us the latter part of part of last year. So what you find is anyone can achieve anything as long as there is desire. So desire to find to sort of change your career is one of the first things you want to do. But also you want to sort of start if you're already working in an organization and you want to sort of change your career, maybe you're working in a junior level role. Imagine you're an admin officer in that organization, but you understand that there's a project management office in that, in that organization. Take an interest in what they do. And also maybe as part of the process, volunteer, and participate, show some interest in the very projects that they have in the organization. But when it comes to you not having had those kind of opportunities to find someone uh, in an organization where you could literally join an office or participate in project there, what you need to do is become really deliberate for, to ser for searching out organizations that can train you, mentor you, and support you not just collect your money, but train you, mentor you and support you and hold you enough to help you achieve. And that is really, really important. And that's what we do at Ostrotech, to sort of train people, not just train you the hands-on practical aspects of project management, but we also support you from the standpoint of certifications. Because you see, to have bragging rights in a market that is quite competitive, you need to have certifications. Industry recognized certifications that position you for visibility in a market that is quite competitive. So we'll work with you to acquire those cutting edge skills that give you confidence, but also we will mentor you and support you such that you are industry ready for really applying and also when you have interviews, support you. Is that kind of thing. So it starts with that desire. And then you need to start to, out of your deliberate and intentional uh, perspective for that change and desire for that change, you need to start really chasing to sort of achieve it. Set targets for when you want this thing to happen and make sure you kick it off, you kick off a training program to sort of allow you, for example, if you wanted to achieve this by end of June this year, you need to have started training in March. That's the way to sort of do it. Your training should have started in March because it takes a while to sort of achieve it. But just so that you appreciate what there is in project management, see, the average earning potential in pro for, for a project manager or for people in the, in the profession looks like what you see on the board. For example, if you are in the UK, it's anywhere from permanent salaries, 25K to about 100 and to 60 go, um, areas or levels where you're talking about 25K to about 138K average. So you see, these are things that you want to sort of used to sort of help you realize that that mundane aspect or mundane work you're doing now is not final. There are opportunities to transition. And you've just listened to people who were never always in project management. Shagun, we just got a job recently, who would have been on the call, was not always on, was not ever in project management. The same thing with Fumi. 
And these things are really quite important. And then if you're a freelance, it's average of 120 to 450 per day. And then you can see what project coordinator earning potentials will look like. Um, through to project managers, senior project managers, and project directors, et cetera. So this is based on this 2023 sur survey, and it's just to help you see what it looks like for opportunities. So a training organization is one of the best ways to sort of achieve, that really is proven, that has track record. Austrotech has helped many um, achieve success in project management and transition into it. And more recently, we are layering more courses that to sort of really set us apart in a market that is quite competitive. So, um, Boboye, I think it's over to you guys again. Buki, uh, Boboye. Thanks, Adi. Yeah, thank you, Adi. Um, we'll just go on to the next item on the agenda. For some reason, Shago is still not on the call. Um, let me introduce Noble to us. Um, Noble, can you please unmute yourself and turn on your video and just talk to us around the um, Prince 2 certification very quickly, please. Over to you, Noble. Well, thank you. Thank you, Adi. And uh, I firstly would like to wish a very good morning to all the other participants. As an introduction, I have been conducting Prince 2 training courses, and I have an experience of about 110 to 150 Prince 2 courses. And I am working with Astrotech for the last uh, three or four years. And I would like to say a few words about their work culture. Astrotech, to me, appears to be like a family. I think anyone who gets involved, Addy sees to it that that person becomes part of the family. There are no formalities. So with this kind of a work culture, in Aditech. I think this is a, some sort of a model for the management people. If people can run their companies in this kind of a, a informal and friendly manner, more projects would succeed. Now, having said that, I switch on now to Prince2. Like I always say, Prince2 is an amazing project management methodology. All issues that we face in life, all challenges that we face can be compared to a project. And no project or no issue can be solved without planning, without delegating, without, you know, moving forward, looking at the risks involved, earmarking resources, having an organization, and carrying out mid-course corrections. So it is not just projects in the commercial field. Projects can be in our real life as well. So therefore, Prince 2 is an amazing project management methodology. Now, there are more than one you know, project management methodologies. I think I'm sure most of us are aware that the Americans have got the PMP and maybe in some other country they follow some of the techniques. But Prince 2 is the simplest of them, is the easiest to understand and the easiest to apply. Why? Because in Prince 2, the people who, you know, invented Prince 2, they studied about 500 successful projects and projects which were not successful. They found out 
what is common among the successful projects and they have incorporated all of them into Prince 2. So in other words, in Prince 2, there is no mathematics. In Prince 2, it's a something like a do's. You follow what those successful project managers would have done. And that's what we would do. In Prince 2, there is a unique relationship which has been evolved between the customer, the supplier, and the business. So these are the three pillars or three vertices of the management triangle. Now, Prince 2 says that all these three personalities who have a major influence on the way the project shapes up, all three of them need to have a healthy working relationship. And if these three work together, the chances of the project succeeding are immensely increased. In addition to this, Prince 2 has evolved seven principles. These principles cannot be violated by practitioners of Prince 2. Along with this, there are seven themes and seven processes. All these are blended together. They are blended together in such a way that we get the project methodology. So, Prince 2 is as simple as that. Now, I would talk about the course. The foundation course is the theoretical course. It lasts for two days and for the convenience of the delegates, most of who are working otherwise, these two days, it is conducted on a weekend. Each Saturday and Sunday, the two courses would be spread over eight hours. So there will be 16 hours of contact training, during which we are going to, you know, in a very interactive way, learn about Prince 2. Once this course is over, all the delegates or students who join, they are formed into a group and some study material is given to them. The book or the manual, which is like the Bible for Prince 2, along with about six to seven mock tests or sample tests. And experiences of those people who have successfully passed the exams are also shared. So, two days of contract training, followed by about 10 days of individual study. With this study material is more than enough for you to successfully pass the examination. The examination is the multiple choice online exam, which is of 60 minutes duration. And like Fudmi had mentioned earlier, one of the hallmarks of Ostrotech is the mentoring. It is not that you have you know, book this course. No. Right from the time you book the course till you attend the course and till you pass your examination. And I am very happy to learn that even after the exam, maybe there will be help and advice rendered to you on, you know, what kind of jobs, what kind of work that you can take home. 
So, Prince 2, I will conclude by saying, is an amazing course, which most of us, because whatever be our technical, whatever be our, you know, whether we are commerce students or we are possibly engineering students or whatever be our background, at some stage, we need to sidestep into managing projects. Because unless we are brilliant technically, I think managing projects is what will come naturally to us. And to that extent, it's important for us to step in and do the Bridge 2 course. And uh, all that I can say is I can give an assurance that the success rate of AstroTech in the Prince 2 courses is extremely high. Provided you also step up, there is no reason why anyone should fail on this examination. Thank you. Thank you very much, Nobu. Thank you for that insight into Prince 2 certifications and how to take um, the certifications with AstroTech. If you're just joining us, Welcome. Thank you for joining. I hope you've been able to stay with us to the end, learn how you can join Ostrotech, introduction into project management and data analysis, and just get an overview of how this will help you and position you for your career in project management and data analysis. I'm going to call on a couple of people that have also taken the certification, Prince 2 certification training with Austrotech, just to come on board and tell you how the experience went with the certification course that they have taken. Lawrence, are you on call? If you can come on call and just um, unmute yourself, tell us um, who you are, introduce yourself to us, and just give us an overview of how your training went with Austrotech on the Prince 2. Thank you. Thank you, Bookie. Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Lawrence. Uh, to introduce myself, um, uh, before encountering Austrotech Noble and, you know, opening up to Prince 2, um, I was working as a credit risk manager for a credit bureau in Nigeria. Um, I posted that position, post my Prince 2 training. I've been able to upskill and I'm, I'm currently working at a risk manager um, uh, at a tech invented company and AI solutions company still in the risk management space but yeah um uh, uh you know uh, an upgrade from where I was initially um uh, to speak briefly about my encounter with Ostrotech to speak briefly about my encounter with Prince too an honorable noble um uh, it's been an exciting experience um uh, one that I'm very much you know I'm grateful for uh, because of where it has positioned me and the position where um, uh, uh, you know, the, the kind of enlightenment that I've gained. Speaking about the process, it was um, uh, tedious, I'm not going to lie, intense. Um, uh, tedious not in the sense of, you know, it's in the sense of if you're learning anything for the first time, um, uh, yeah, it could be it could be very daunting, you know, I'm um, uh, learning it. But as opposed to my initial experience and what I've heard about project management, about Prince too, about how difficult it can be, it genuinely, you know, um, uh, wasn't as bad as it was. I would say um, uh, this is because of the training experience, the way the trainings were conducted, the tools that I had on set, the, um, uh, you know, availability, the way the training was delivered, both from Adi, from Noble, we've all had from Noble, very, very, you know, calm, gentle, you definitely will learn and understand, even if you don't want to, it's going to sink in. So it's been an exciting experience for me. And um, uh, yeah, uh, I, I guess I'll, I'll take a pause there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. So in terms of your certification now, you certified, haven't gone through the training and you are now Prince to certified. And uh, so congratulations to you. Um, uh, so yeah, it's just to tell us about, so, as part of you going through the training and you taking the course, um, Prince Certification, um, would you recommend this to anyone that would want to come on board and what would be your recommendations? Certainly, certainly, um, I, I will. It is a nudge in the right direction because, you know, just like we've mentioned, project is, uh, it's, uh, I mean, I use this in my work, um, uh, but beyond my work, I use this in my day-to-day -day life and activities. It helps me prioritize better, deal with issues, you know, set timelines, set projects, 
my personal projects, literally handling my life as a project, so to say. So mm -hmm. um, uh, that's the kind of training that it is. That's the kind of course that it is. It spans across just your, you know, work activity. But it also does impact your life um, uh, positively. And uh, yeah, I, it's uh, it's one direction I would nudge everyone to go into, to look into. Because at some point of your life, if you're making progress, um, uh, whether it's mid-management, whether it's executive, you will have to manage projects. And um, no better way to do this um, uh, you know, than having this type of experience. So highly recommend that, certainly. Thank you very much, Lawrence. Thank you. Um, yeah, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thank you for coming aboard and sharing your testimony with us. And, Just before yeah. you go, it's okay. Um, yeah. It's what's saying, Lawrence got 100% in his Princeton Foundation. That was the first for us. Um, it did really good. And I just... There was no way we weren't going to have him on this today. Um, and that's really remarkable. It's testimony to the fact that the process works. The training is top class, top notch. Um, and thanks to Noble, who is our Prince 2 trainer. Um, seamless, uh, simplistic approach to explaining and detailing aspects of Prince 2 to ensure students are comfortable and able to scale through their passes. Um, and certification. So he's thanking Noble on the one side, but also well done to you, um, Lawrence. Um, always good to see you and Thank thanks you. for the good words um, and kind words. Yeah, Thank over you. to you, Bookie. Thank you, Adi. Thank you, Noble. Uh, Bookie, just wanted to also state that, you know, uh, as at the time when I was initially training for my Prince too, uh, I mean, I was confident that what I was going to excel in it because, you know, we've learned a lot and I was pretty much very confident. But when I took the exam and I came out with a perfect score, I didn't believe it. And, you know, because literally the training materials I had received, it was like I was taking the exam on hard mode, literally. So when I got into the actual examination, it was easy. It was seamless, very much familiar with the questions and the entire process. So, yeah, um, uh, thanks very much to the Austrotech team. Thank you very much, Lawrence. Thank you. Um, Mildred, if you're on the call, can you come online? Just um, unmute yourself and come on as well. If you're just joining us, uh, thank you for joining. Please continue to extend this to um, your network for as many of us that are on the call with us and have listened to all uh, Austrotech has had to offer. Please extend to your network and let them come on board as well and listen to um, this information, you know, that will help them nudge them in the right direction if they're thinking about project management and how to get certified, get their hands on experience and um, get trained and be able to get onto the career that you desire and be able to fulfill those dreams that you've always looked into. So thank you for joining us. Um, Mildred, you came on for a while and left. If you can hear me, can you just unmute yourself and come on board, please? Uh, Mildred, can you hear me? Um, hi, Bucky. Yes, I can hear you. Just okay. I'm trying to. Yeah, go for it, Mildred. Even okay. if, yeah. it's, if your video is not coming on here, that's fine. If, uh, if you're having issues with your video, um, you can still talk if you're trying to sort it out. Uh, maybe we'll just do that. But, uh, if you're having issues with your video, Mildred. Yeah, I'm, I'm having issues with the video, but yeah. Okay. That's fine. Um, thank you. Uh, would you just introduce yourself to the team and just um, let us know how your own training went with the certification and how you were able to uh, work with it? Um, hi, everyone. My name is Mildred. Um, so I joined the course. I saw one of my friends, she introduced me to RJ because I told her um, I was at the point in my life where, you know, I wanted to grow and do some things and you know just establish and improve myself so she she just randomly sent me the link on the day and then I joined and I heard you know the people talk I heard the testimonies and I was inspired so I spoke to Adi afterwards joined the course um took the project management and the prince too as well and um what I can say is those testimonies they weren't lies because I can see, you know, 
all of those things that were said and has been said today, I can see it in my life as well. Um, I have improved as a person. I just passed my um, foundation certification as well. And it doesn't just stop there. Of course, we go higher as, you know, trying to also get a job and at the same time trying to be certified um, practitionally as well. So that's, that's it. Yeah, thank you. Um, so in terms of um, just recommendations, then would you recommend the training? Would you recommend Austrotech um, to get the certifications done and as well as the training? I have recommended Austrotech and I keep recommending Austrotech um, because I feel like that's the place where you really grow. Um, before the exams, you know, and even aside that, I feel like they can call anyone. I've reached out to you, Buki, a couple of times to, you know, ask you some questions, same as Bubui to give me direction or pointers, either with studying or just trying to understand something better. There's always just, you know, someone to point me in the right direction. I've called Adi sometimes, like even at odd hours, and he just always responds, always, you know, helps me what I need. So I always tell everyone that Ostrotech is really the place to be. It's a place where you grow and, you know, you see the changes. Thank you, Mildred. Thank you, Mildred. So if you if you if you've just joined, like Mildred said, Mildred uh, had joined um just like I know a couple of you have joined as well, having received links from friends and to say just join this and listen to what's happened. She was uh once like a couple of you that have joined and just listening to what we have to say and just like she said she can see those impacts in her life and changes and things that she's doing now so she's able to come on board so thank you very much Mildred for sharing that with us um, and over thank to you the boy thank you very much Pookie thank you Mildred um, so I'm just going to take us to the next session which um, talks about Sorry, just a minute, confirming that. Do we have, um? okay, I think it's Kay's session now. So I'll introduce Kay, who will take us through. And um, just before the, Kay, can I just sort of very quickly talk us through the, um, so that people understand the process and that we sort okay. of walk through around, uh, because this is quite important for all those joining for the first time. I mean, you're coming into Astrotech as an organization that provides training. And I think one of the things we want you to do is sort of leave here knowing exactly what that process you're coming into looks like so that you understand how you benefit. Um, you've listened to quite a number of people. For those those that are in certification, also have professional jobs, just know it. We just ask them to talk about certifications only. Buki. Um, Buki is a project manager. Boboye is a senior project manager. So understand they all came through processes that have enhanced their skills and careers, and they are doing really good career-wise. And that really makes me really proud. You can see that they benefit from the likes of Noble um, directly or indirectly in terms of how it feeds that experience to even I as the lead trainer for Stratech because I benefit from that. So you have an ecosystem of different people with varied skill sets and exposure that sort of allows you to benefit. So we have our hands-on as aspects and we have our certifications. Hands-on aspects to cater for project management and then more recently data analysis. And we have certification areas to include Prince2 Foundation Practitioner. And we have Scrum Master 1, which is the People Set Certification, and we have ITO Foundation. And we're coming up with a scaled Agile Safe 6.0 um, second half of uh, this year. Our approach to training is flexible weekends. It's just weekends and it's virtual, it's structure-led every time. So we adopt instructor-led approaches to training, okay, to sort of ensure we can cater for the individuality of people and try to keep our class sizes manageable so that we can interact with you as an individual um, and manage that uh, transition for you and your knowledge acquisition to ensure you're market ready and you also succeed in the process. One of the things I want to sort of touch on is that hands-on training process that sort of leads to people succeeding. It starts with first a training process that sort of suggests that that sort of suggests as the first step in the process of our training, our hands-on training process. It's that training, instructor-led training process. 
And then when you're done with your training over the weekends that have been scheduled for you, you will transit into the next stage, which is sort of your live projects and where you sort of also learn tools. Now, there are some optional aspects. The optional aspect is CV development and interview prep. You may well say, I'm not buying into that. I would just want to do my training and my life projects. But a lot of the students who come to us come up with buy into everything as a service. Okay. The mentoring and support is something we will always look to provide you. So um, Boboye, as you've listened to, is our lead mentor. Buki is also a mentor. And there are other mentors in the process that have helped shape how we sort of work. And I would want to say to a family culture. So when you come into a strategic, you participate in the alumni, but you also not just um, uh, come into that alumni and group um, the family of a strategic, but you feel you have that sense of belonging and know that you are being looked after. Because the mentoring and support is the key thing that even allows for success. It's not so much all of the training. Anyone could train you and say they've given you life projects. But if you're not mentored and support, supported, you cannot achieve so much with it. So it's that mentoring and support that is, I would want to say, one of our USPs. Okay? Um, and Stellar CVs every time. Stellar CVs. In fact, we are growing CV writers almost every day. And that's a remarkable place. And I value... That's a, a remarkable thing. And we, I validate the CVs before they sort of are issued out. And then you have your interview prep if you buy into that. So the whole process will typically, from when you join, take four to eight weeks, including your projects, including your CV readiness, including you having SAT Prince too. We always encourage that when people sign into a program, that they buy the Prince 2 Foundation certification as a minimum. Because you see, you will not go into this market that is so competitive without certification. Some will tell you you don't need it. You may be fortunate enough to get a job without it, but you see, the market a lot of time demands that you have it. And you see, when you have your certification plus your hands-on practical training, it gives you a lot of confidence. The next big thing I want to say is that, see, if you want to sort of ensure you have um, visibility in the market. You need a process like this that sort of allows you have projects and then you can, from the standpoint of mentoring and support from experienced trainers, coaches, and the guys that you've just met on this call. If they are to start training project management, you'll be amazed what will be coming through from their mouths because they are quite knowledgeable quite knowledgeable and experienced. We're not talking one year, two years of experience, many years from having come through this process. And that's why they can be the ones and holding and hosting this session to sort of help you sort of gain that insight into how to transit from wherever you are. And it wouldn't matter where you are. It wouldn't matter where you are. I've seen people that I wouldn't call roles. I mean, mundane jobs that people may have had so that I'm not looking down on any job aspect because to every labor, uh, to, to to labor, there is um there's dignity in labor. That was what I was going to try and say. There's dignity in labor, so it makes sense that people work. So just understand you're coming into a process that is established, proven. We're not experimenting. It's established and proven. And what we want to do is sort of encourage you to sign up into it and we'll look after you. So, Baboy, it's over to the next um, step. I think it's now okay. Thanks. Thanks, Ade. Um, Kay, if we have you on, can you please unmute yourself and then um, just take us through the next session? Um, yeah. Please introduce yourself, Kay, and then we just yeah. take it from there. Um, thank you, Ade. Thank you, Baboy, for uh, for this opportunity. Um, I just want to welcome everyone. Uh, uh, sorry, this. Kay, if you could please um, just um, let people see who's talking, if you can turn on your video, please. Um, I can turn on my video. Okay. Um, for where he is, it can't, but I think we already showed who K is at the beginning. Uh, okay. He sort of okay. explained he may not be able to share his video. Uh, you meet him when you sign up onto our, our program. Yeah, on, thank Kay. you. Oh, thank you, everyone. Um, um, I've been I've been a data analyst for about 12 years now, and I have no regrets switching to data. And um, currently, I'm a lead developer at uh, Mossing Group in Manchester. Um, in this capacity, I've 
taking on a leadership role um, in the organization, uh, guiding um, a team of talented professionals to develop um, exceptional BI solutions. And um, next slide, next slide, please. So in front of you uh, is a dynamic uh, visualization of data analytics and is a snapshot of uh, HR data. You can actually do this as well. I actually did this. Um, I would have loved to show you the live, but I'm just going to uh, put a snapshot here. So um, this is a HR data and you can actually do this as well as I mentioned. So today we invite you uh, to embark on a journey into um, data driven world where every data point tells a story. And that's what data analytics is all about. It's about telling a story, like visualizing your data. And um, we will guide you on how to position yourself for fulfilling career in data analytics and also leveraging the power of this uh, dynamic insight. Um, next slide. Um, no, I think there's a slide preview. Uh, can, you, can you go to the previous? Okay, can you go to the next one? So skills to learn, there's so many skills to learn uh, in, in data analytics. But I'm just going to mention a few things. So as a data analyst, as a data analyst, you need um, different kinds of skills. So for example, you need you need to learn Excel. That's the technical skills in Excel. You need to learn SQL. There's so many, but Austrotech will focus on three key applications. So well, we'll focus on Excel, Power BI, and SQL. So those are the three core tools. Uh, Australia could focus on, but there's so many tools in uh, data analytics. And also we need to learn the soft skills as well. So for example, you need to learn how to solve problems. You need, you need to have um, communication skills and you need to, you need to be critical um, thinking as well. And you need to be detailed uh, details as well. And also time management and all this, all these skills uh, will actually learn all of it uh, when you enroll uh, when you enroll uh, for this courses uh, for this course and as a data analyst you can actually work every, anywhere anywhere any industry for example you can work in the healthcare sector or finance sector HR sector you can work you can work in any industry and for example let, let me click on this link can you click on this link please just to show you the amount of opportunities you can get as a data analyst. Um, just keep going. I think for some reasons it's um, yeah. it needs some login uh, to sort of uh, progress it. Oh, okay, okay. Um, next slide, please. Yeah, so um, this graph it just shows the amount of job vacancies, data analytics job vacancies. You can see uh, year 2020 was the COVID time, so they needed more uh, data analysts. So in 2024, they still need more more data analysts. So we there's a lot of demand uh, of this role uh, in the market. So get ready to learn a lot of things as a role. Uh, around to this course. Next slide. So, um, so these are the any potential you can get as a data analyst. Yeah, for example, um, as an entry uh, data analyst, you earn up to thirty five. Obviously, you can actually earn more, um, earn more depending on the company. Then, as a junior analyst. You can end up to forty-five thousand pounds, and that's a gross salary. Uh, as a mid uh, data analyst, you can end up to fifty-five. You can actually earn more. This is just average. You can earn more. So, as a senior um, data analyst, 
um, I think up to 65, 65,000 pounds. Then as a lead manager, uh, they can only scan it up to, um, up to, I think, 100, up to 100, 65 plus. It's up to 100, 120, depending on all your experience. Uh, next slide. Starting your career as a data analyst, data analysis. And um, at Austrotech, we understand um, the vital role that data plays um, in, in, today's, in today's world. So our comprehensive training program is meticulously crafted uh, to cover fundamental aspects of data analytics and management. So we believe, uh, we believe that a strong foundation is key to unlocking the full potential of data. And now, um, Ostrotech set apart um, this course for you to uh, for you to actually learn. And also we don't we don't just teach the theoretical parts. So this is gonna be more hands-on and um, live training. So we're going to do a project together and learn these key skills. For example, um, Ostratech will teach you uh, how to use Power BI, uh, how to use Excel, how to use um, SQL Server. So all these tools, Ostratech will uh, train you on how to use them. And aside from the technical skills, there'll be a lot of uh, soft skills training as well. For example, how do you liaise with stakeholder? So those are the key things as a data analyst you need to understand. How to liaise with stakeholder, how to communicate with the stakeholder, how do you communicate with your project manager? Because the stakeholder could be a project manager, it could be your manager, it could be anybody. It could be anybody. So you, you must be able to communicate with these um, uh, stakeholders. So which Austrotech provides? So Austrotech will teach you, will train you how to, how to communicate or how to, anything that relates to um, soft skills. And um, so next slide. So path in data analytics, that different path, uh, path in data analysis. So we just focus more on data analysis, but I'm going to explain all the, all the path um, in data analytics. So data analysts, so what, what does data analysts do? What, what did they do? So analysts did extract data. They extract data from, from a database and create insights. It's just simple as that. They take data out of the data, data, uh, data database and create visualization uh, in maybe, for example, in Excel or in Power BI. And um, a data science is, is more advanced. They do more analysis, they do more um, like forecasting, predictive analysis. So this is more advanced. Then as a business intelligence analysis, it's focused on business related uh, data, for example. So I, business intelligence analysis is quite similar to, to a data analyst. It's just the, just the role. Then data engineer, the data engineer, what they do is they build, they build the data warehouse. They design the data warehouse. They design the infrastructure of, of how the terrain else would be. So mainly, next slide. Next slide, please. So our first training, um, I think not this. Be... Let me take this. Um, so okay. for everyone, uh, thanks for staying on um, and just to really sort of help everybody. Uh, thanks, Kay. That was really beautiful. I, I think um, the world today is just data driven and it's not just for the data analyst. It's not just for the data scientist or a data engineer. If you're in project manager man management, I'll encourage you to actually take data analysis as a course because it is skill set that is really invaluable to your progress in your career because every organization today has data projects. They have one or more data projects. They're always thinking about, even Ostratech right now, is thinking about how to better utilize its data to sort of improve 
this kind of events, improve attendances at these events. We're getting feedback. There are things that we could do better with even this event, for example, and the data that we gather from feedback from also areas we have not leveraged properly will also help us understand how to improve. For it, Also, people make inquiries to you as an organization. You want to sort of capture that and analyze what areas they are sort of areas of interest is maybe prevalent, for example. So that gives you some insights, intelligence that allows you to make decisions so that we're talking evidence-based decision-making to facilitate how organizations apply their resources. Because the worst thing you want to do is waste your resources. So that is the benefit of um, data analysis. Um, for to organizations. And you're talking about business intelligence coming through. So that imagine in the back end of every system today, it's data. Um, Kay started with a slide that sort of showed you something he did for where he works currently. And I just want to just show you something there so that you understand exactly what we're saying. This is for an HR organization and they want to sort of understand how they are performing um, from the standpoint of CVs, they've sent out interviews, they've arranged, and people who have sort of started um, and secured entrance into organizations. And this looks at all their clients, gives you their activity overview, current quarter, last quarter. You can actually track your trends over time. And you can also determine peak periods and determine the factors responsible for how you add those troughs and peaks within your analysis. See, it's so, so important that people have these skills and organizations today need to have more and more people that are specialists in the data world to sort of help them shape how they interpret, analyze, and utilize data to make decisions. I hope that sort of helps you there. And that's why we are sort of showcasing this as a course we are launching. But before I go even into the next slide, I think we are meant to have a success story, someone who has benefited already from what we are doing with data analysis. And actually is in the process um, of interviewing with some organizations because we pretty much just picked this up. So Debola, I think that's you. Do you want to talk about it very quickly? Debola, you're able to unmute yourself and talk to us. Okay, I can't seem to, Debola, where are you? Are you here? Drop a message so that um, Kay can notice, notice you and unmute you. Um, okay, but whilst we're looking for waiting on Debola, I just want to talk you through. Yes, is that you? Debola. Okay, I'll just take the Hello. Hi. Yeah, okay, go for it. Um, Buki, do you want to talk, sort of guide her through uh, my experience and so that she can just sort of talk us through uh, how the process has been for her? Yeah, that's fine. Thank you, Adi. Um, Debola, are you... If us talk now. If you just give us um, a brief introduction of yourself, um, what's your previous background and uh, how you found the training? Um, hi, everyone. Uh, good afternoon and thanks for uh, being here. My name is Debola, as you've heard. And um, uh, over the past five, six years, I've been an entrepreneur. I had a, um, a franchise running a, a restaurant. Uh, it was quite a, uh, an experience, and at some point, I decided it wasn't for me. It was doing well, but it was just not for me. It was, you know, affecting everything in my life. So I decided to go back to my uh, first love. I My educational background is in statistics and mathematics. So I went back to, um, I, I decided to go back to data analysis. So that's my background. Thank you. Thank you, Debola. So in terms of um, the training, how did you find the training then? Let's check. I'm in a meeting. Yes. Uh, okay. Yeah. So um, 
Actually, when I set out to... Um, Mom, you leaving? Hello, what are you doing? I'm in a meeting. Can you go now? Sorry, everyone. <laughs> Can you go now? <laughs> so when I decided to change uh, uh, my, you know, to go back to data analysis, I joined uh, a different um, training consult uh, and... To tell you what they promise heaven and earth, you're going to do this, you're going to do that. And uh, I took the training and when the training was over, eh, now, you know, it was the time to start um, looking for a job, obviously. And I did. I tried my best. I reached out to them because after two months, I could not land any job interview I I knew something was wrong and that thing that was wrong was you know those touches those uh personal touches so and I reached out to them they didn't reply me and it's a big one of the biggest you know so to say in in um that you you probably have met them before I'm not going to name them they didn't reply me and I was just left alone and then somebody introduced me to Ade and Kay. I went to them and I told them, uh, okay, this is my situation. Um, and they were just smiling that they knew exactly what the problem was. It's not enough to, to just gain, you know, practical, uh, sorry, not just practical, theory, uh, theory uh, theoretical experience and maybe sometimes practical experience is not enough. You need that um uh guidance you need the personal touch you need somebody in the industry to just hold your hands and that exactly is what adian k did for me the first day took my cv they went through all my theory and everything that i've learned and you know guided me maybe you need this that, and that and put me right and then the next thing they picked my cv and we all worked on it and i could see from my previous cv that i you know, um, that I put up, uh, put together myself and what they, you know, guide me to put together was like night and day. And they also, after some time, they, they called me again and gave me tips and tricks of how to look for the job in that industry, what I need to do. And I tell you what, within two weeks of them giving me this tri uh, tips and tricks and guiding me on how to do it, I landed uh, job interviews and I was so happy. You would think I got a job. I know I'm gonna get it because they're already prepping me for for this experience, uh, for this you know interview that I have. And so basically, that's my experience. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much, Debola. And this is just to say to everyone on the call as well, just to say that when you come to Austrotech. Um, your experience will be personalized, your story will be personalized, it's more or less getting you to feel comfortable, understand where you're coming from, be able to work with you, work with your CV, ensure that it's personalized to give you that extra touch and support that you need in the program. So thank you very much, Debola, for sharing your experience and what um, you've been able to achieve by coming to Austrotech with us. Thank you. Thank um, you. Over to yourself, um, Adi. Okay, I'll take it away and I'll try not to keep us for much longer. And then Buki will just talk about uh, the uh, the mentoring process and support. You just sort of summarize it. I think we've had people on the call for quite some time. So we just sort of need to try and wrap up. Um, I think with where we are, next weekend, we're starting the next batch of project management training. And it will run over two weekends, uh, that weekend of 16th and 17th, and then the weekend of 30th and 31st. If you're on Instagram, you start to see messages come through. And if you've got your details and shared with us, we'll contact you. If you didn't register for this event, please register. What we're basically saying is for project management for from 450 plus VAT, you are able to start. Um, what people will usually buy into for our project management courses is the 595 plus VAT, which includes training, live project, mentoring, support, CVs, and interview prep. But 
if you just wanted to get started and start to pick up things as you go, you could just do the 450 plus VAT, which is something we've just started introducing to give people the option for not taking on everything if they didn't really want to. Uh, but we find that this is the level that most people want to be at anyway, where they after their training, they can get CVs and interview preps. And then your Prince2 Foundation, we encourage that people do projects, management training, plus their certification, so that at the time when we're doing your, writing your CVs, we are able actually to reflect your certification uh, successes at, that you, and levels within your CV. And it just really makes a lot of difference in the process. Uh, the key thing is, if you're really interested in taking this forward, just really reach out. And for anyone who may be interested in the data analysis side of things, which is quite important, um, based on some of the things you've sort of heard Kay talk about and what I've said, because we're just introducing this to the market, we're introducing it at 375 plus VAT. And it, this training starts the first week of April and the sixth, the weekend of the sixth and the seventh. And it runs through about three weekends and it will have a live project and there'll be mentoring and support as well uh, to sort of support you. The, CV and interview prep available as a service if required. Um, and we can discuss that and um, when we get there. But the first priority is training people, making sure they have access to live projects and mentoring. And this is where um book, if you want to just very quickly pick up, if you have any questions for us, very quickly drop it in chat and we'll look to attend. If you have not registered, please register. Uh, follow us on all our social media platforms. It's Instagram, it's uh, Facebook, it's uh it's also um, YouTube. Follow us there, um, subscribe, and um, we'll look to sort of engage you and share resources with you as part of the process. Um, the mentoring and support process, over to you, Buki, if you want to just very quickly uh, just summarize this one. Oh. Yeah. Thank you very much, Adi. Um, thank you for everyone that's on the call with us and listening to all this. Um, so I'll just talk through the mentoring process briefly. So once you've... Um, finish with your training as part of the training you have a live um, scenario based project and as part of this live scenario based project you'll be um, splitted into groups and as part of that group um, everyone that will be there you be advised to pick a leader of that team on that group and you'll be assigned a mentor so a mentor will be guiding you as part of this process will look into work with you on the project that you've been assigned to it's not that the mentor will be doing the work for you you still have to do the work yourself get your hands dirty be on ground and be able to uh, work with any project that's been given to you but the mentor will be there to guide you through the process look through any artifacts that you may produce any documents you may produce and check if you know you're on the right path and so once that is done you submit your um, life project you review it and after that, you have your CV preparation. As part of the CV preparation, you would have a CV to do yourself, um, send it to the mentors uh, to have a look at it. This will be vetted and you would be prepared with your CV. You tell your CV to suit every personal, every person's situation as we understand that everyone is unique coming from different backgrounds. So we'll work with you to understand, you know, where you want to get to, what your background has been, and your CV will be tailored to that. And so once your CV is tailored to that approach, you have your CV, it's for you to push it out to the market. Once you put it out into the market, we'll give you guidelines on to where you'll be applying to, the type of jobs to look for, and those kind of things. And after that, you once you've been able to secure an interview, you can reach out to us. We'll prep you for those interviews. Look at what the interview questions are. We'll do like an interview prep and session with yourself and to just kick that to you to give you that edge and that support that you need to ensure that you're fortified to go to the interview and face the interview panel and be able to smash it. That's all we always advise. Go there and smash it. And if you go there, get that experience, it's just going to be big gam um, it's uh, for you to move on to the next one if you don't get the first one but we have had stories of people being able to secure you know their roles from the first interview that they go for and we also have people that haven't secured at the first one but move on to other ones and we're able to secure the roles. so however it would be we'll support you through all that process and ensure that you get to where you need to be to and we also have like a um, monthly general interview preps and 
uh, questions that will work with you know people to come on board and just listen to interview preps, listen to interview questions, and yeah. So as part of what we do as well in Austriatech is when you get that role, we're also still supporting you. You hear from the likes of Fumi that gave you know her testimony and talking about you know when she's still on the job, she has been still supported. She can still reach out to any of the mentors and speak to them, and they'll be able to help you out or whatever she will you know you're working with so we follow you up as well when you're doing your search you've got the interviews it's not you just interviews have the interview preps and we follow up did that give that extra personal church or how did your interview go what do you think you did well what do you think you know areas that you're not so sure of and we can always work with you on that and ensure that you're, you're better prepared for the next one so the support's there at every step of the way once you've finished your training with that supports you through the life projects, your CV interview, interview preps, and also while you're on the job, the support is always still there. So it's more like um, Noble has said in the beginning as well, we are a family and we'll take it like a family approach and we're supporting each other and making sure that we all get to that place that we want to get to in our careers. Thank you. So at this point, if there's any questions that you want to drop in the chat, Please drop your questions and we're here to take any questions that you have on the chat. If you have any questions, please drop them. I can't see any questions yet. Please drop them if you don't have any questions. I'm sure you have questions, but if you want to reach out to us, um, the social media handles are on your screen. Please follow us at those social media handles um, at Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and they're also the telephone numbers on your screen. Just get in touch with us, reach out to us and we'll be willing to assist with any questions you may have. And if you want to take the training with us, we'll also be able to guide you on how to um, get this training with us. So yeah, and if, if you registered, questions... we'll be in touch with you uh, to sort of really ensure you have all the information required for taking things forward. Um, yeah, I think from me, um, well done to everyone, Buki, Boboye, and all those who also shared their success stories. Um, is thank you guys for being part of our day today. Hope we've not bored you and hope we've sort of given you a good view of how to transition from where you are to where you want to be. Um, so if you need any further information, any uh, uh, you need to make any inquiries, please reach us. Um, whenever you need such. And it's thanking Noble as well. I didn't realize you were still there. Thank you so, so much. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for the value you always add to us. We appreciate you a lot. Uh, for It's a lot of support we get from Noble. Um, yeah, and we've had so many successes, so many people who now have careers because of the kind of value he adds to um, Ostratech. Um, yeah, so we really appreciate you. Thank you so much. Um, so that's sort of it from us um, at Ostratech. Um, thank you very much, everyone, for being part of today. And we'll be in touch. And we also look forward to seeing you at, on our courses. Um, thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. I'll definitely thank be in much. touch. Thank, thank you. you. Thank Bye. you very much. I, I think you. that's what you did. Like, I don't know if that's what you did, Noble. <laughs> thank you so much. Okay, I'll, I'll try it. <laughs>